want to welcome in uh, Coach Nathan Smith, Evanston County. Uh, Coach, welcome. If you would introduce your uh, players to us, please. Uh, yeah, over here I got uh, John Smith, um, and here I got Michael Shaw, quarterback and defensive lineman, offensive lineman. Well, Coach, uh, we've had, I think, three programs in here so far, mm -hmm. and uh, everybody's chomping at the bit. Tell us a little bit about Edmondson County and how things are going, your numbers this year. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, things are going, I guess, as well as can be expected. I mean, we've uh, we've had pretty good numbers. We've had, you know, around 35 to 40 kids, which is pretty good for us in the summertime, you know, for a, a non-mandatory conditioning session. Um, you know, just it's just kind of different. Um, never, never, never thought I'd have to do anything like this or anything. But uh, our kids are working hard. I mean, we're I think we're probably in the best shape we've ever been in because we've literally just been conditioning for months. So um, hopefully, pretty soon we get to actually do some football stuff. Make it a little bit. It's getting a little bit boring just running and lifting. I think for me, and I know it's getting the same way for these boys. No, actually, uh, we haven't had that issue uh, yet. So, um, pretty pretty fortunate, you know, as far as that, because I'm I'm sure that's an issue for a lot of people. Um, you know, what we're doing, we are following all those mandates that we have to a T. So, uh, you know, our athletic director, he's he's in and around every single day, like going through checking, making sure that we're doing everything that we're supposed to be doing. So, um, I think that kind of helps, you know, with these parents, because when the first day we started, I had a meeting with all the parents. You know, that, that was our first thing, a, a social distance meeting outside. So I kind of told them how it was going to be, and I think that really kind of calmed some people down. Um, but, yeah, we've I haven't had any of that, so uh, that's that's I mean, definitely positive. Uh, 17, so really, really good for us, um, really, really good for us. Coach, obviously you can't go into detail about every single procedure that you're having to take now with this pandemic, but what are some of the things that you're doing differently or some other steps that you're having to kind of cover, overcome well, I think definitely the hardest part is, you know, keeping them in groups of 10. Uh, that's, it's, you know, you, it's really hard to run an 11 man game with groups of 10. So, uh, you know, we, we've been trying just to break up on the field a little bit and put in some of our stuff. So, you know, if we got a, a two week window to install everything, that's, that's going to be real tough. But we've already got a bunch of our stuff installed with our offensive linemen and our, uh, our skill kids and things like that. But just not being able to bring them together and run through some stuff is just, uh, uh, it's just really weird. And, you know, it's, but you know, once we once we get going, we should be ready to just you know mix them together and play some football. So that'll be good. Coach, talk a little bit about your schedule this year. Have you had any uh, issues rescheduling, or have you added different teams to your? Schedule? Uh, no, our schedule is pretty much the same. Uh, the only only thing that stinks is we lost Grayson County, which is you know our, our kind of rival, and you know we we kind of thought that we might be able to find time in there to schedule them, and um, you know that just that really kind of stinks. I know our boys were. Looking forward to they they always kind of circle that one on the on the schedule and you know we're playing for that painted tobacco stick it's that it sounds stupid when you say it out loud but it's a it's kind of a big deal you know around there so uh, I, I know they're kind of bummed about that one but everybody else you know we were able to get back on the schedule so um, pretty much the same other than losing Grayson County. Players, what about you? What's it what's it been like uh, going through uh, not normal practices and uh, how have you guys handled it? Uh, it's been a little bit more conditioning, but overall, it's just going to make us better at the end. It's uh, something different, but I'm just glad we got something to do with football. Yeah, I feel pretty much the same way. You know, it's kind of weird for the offensive linemen. You know, we're learning all our plays and stuff, and I don't have a center to snap to because he's in another group. <laughs> Other than that, I feel like I mean, we're really making the best of what we can, you know, trying to fight for the little season we're going to get. And we're just kind of happy that we get a season. For the players, just when you all got that announcement that you have an actual start target date, the 24th, and the season starting on the 11th, what was y'all's reaction? It was amazing. Like, I've been lifting for the past six months not knowing what was going to happen this fall. And just to hear that is just really great news. Yeah, it was kind of like a relief. You know, I was – it's my senior year, of course. I've played since, you know, I could walk. Uh, was this, you know, was kind of like that building point, and you know, not think that we couldn't have had it was, you know, weird, and then knowing that we did, it was just like, okay, good, things are going back to normal. Along those lines, how are you looking at Thursday's announcement? Are you going to be on pins and needles? Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be a very stressful day, honestly. 
no. you know, just waiting, you know, to get an email or a text saying, hey, we are, we're not. Yeah, it's, it kind of stinks, too, that they wait till Thursday. It just, yeah. you know, two or three days before we're supposed to start, like, uh, that just, I don't know, that just really stinks, I think. For the players and coach, you can answer this, too. I've asked every team this, but I keep on asking, how important is it that you got to play this year? Uh, very. Yeah. I've been playing football since I was three years old. And just to think about not having a senior season is just, it's just, I just don't want to think about it, really. Oh, yeah. I mean, these, these boys have worked so hard. I mean, most of them I've coached since they were in the sixth grade. And just, it would be heartbreaking, really, you know, for them not to be able to play. And I've, I've kind of had some talks with a couple of them. And, you know, it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world because, you know, just a few generations ago, well, there were 17, 18-year-olds that were going to, you know, they were on Normandy Beach. So, I mean, it's not that bad, uh, but it's, you know, it, it would really stink not to be able to play this after they've worked so hard and, you know, us to finally have good numbers in a senior class and uh, have, have a season that I'm really looking forward to to be canceled. That would just be, um, that would be awful. Be rough. Yeah, it's like, I know personally I've played for, you for since I was in sixth grade and I've worked really hard for this year you know not just like as a football player but like as a captain as a leader and then for all just to go away I, I, it almost doesn't seem for real like it could happen coach talk to us a little bit about the, the team dynamics as far as uh, maybe some guys that we should keep our eyes out Okay. That are going to be up this season. Okay. Yeah. Um, the awesome part is we, I mean, we return all five offensive linemen starters, uh, which is pretty awesome. Well, people who started on the offensive line at some point last year for, because of injuries or whatever. Um, we return our quarterback. We return our leading rusher and our leading receiver. So that's pretty good on the offensive side of the ball. I think we're going to be fine there. Uh, defensively, we did lose, you know, our school's all-time leading tackler at, at middle linebacker. So we got to got to find somebody to take in and step that role. But on the same end, we return all of our defensive line. So, you know, hopefully those we could take a few of those tackles and kind of distribute them among, you know, a veteran uh, defensive front and uh, kind of balance it out a little bit. But uh, uh, like I said, just I, have, I got a great group of seniors. I mean, just really as good as you could ask for. They're there, you know, every time the doors are open, they're, they're there and work hard for me and uh, couldn't be prouder of them. Players, talk a little bit about uh... – what are you looking forward to doing most this season? I mean, obviously, in years past, it was hitting somebody other than your own players. But, I mean, is it just practicing with a full offensive squad and getting actual plays? Or I guess so. Just, I'm just really looking forward to being back on the field. Just in pads, Friday night lots. I'm just really looking forward to it. Yeah, I'm pretty much the same thing. I'm just looking forward to getting to play, you know, seeing the team that I've played with forever, you know, our last, like, year. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if I've ever looked more forward to actual football practice than I am at this point. You know, usually, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit natural. You, you get that whole summer off, and, you know, you just come out of the dead period, and you're like, okay, we're about to start. we got helmets for a couple of weeks. I am so excited right now that we might get to put on helmets in a couple of weeks and put some pads on and – you know, I, I just want to do some tackling drills. We, we might just do that for a day and just just let these boys hit each other and have some fun out there. I mean, that's what it's. I mean, that's what it's about at the end of the day. Just let give them a chance to you know just do something they love.